Hey, Tube Ritual guys, hope you're having a great Saturday. Tim here. Just wanted to do a really quick video uh, and give you the, the setup that I am using for the extended life battery that I have rigged up for my uh, Canon 70D. I've gotten a lot of questions after I posted the Frankenstein picture. So I thought I would take a little, uh, just a few minutes here on my Saturday and show you exactly what I've done. Uh, I've done this, uh, you have to get a couple of pieces. And what brought this on was I, I do a lot of recording now that is over um, the life of my normal battery, which is you know hour, two hours, something like that. And so uh, what I've done is I purchased a USB. This is a uh, an XT Power mobile energy source. It actually looks kind of like a heavy phone, but it's just uh, basically a battery pack that you plug in the wall and charge up. It has uh, three outputs. It's got the regular uh, corded output like this. It also has two USB outputs. So this thing will supply about 10 hours of continuous use on a DSLR camera. You can also use it on laptops and phones and, and what have you. So uh, I'll put a link to this. It's the XT Power. Uh, I think this was 50, yeah, 59 bucks for this. And it comes with all kinds of little uh, accessories. Really cool. I'm very, very happy with the quality, what it does. The other piece, this is what supplies the power. Uh, and this is what goes in the camera. This is a, what they call a dummy battery or a DC coupler. It's really just a little piece of plastic in the shape of a camera battery. And I'll show this a little closer, uh, that has a cord that then plugs into the power source. And again, that will, uh, power your DSLR. I did, um, probably five to six hours of continuous shooting yesterday. And I still have about five hours left on this. It's amazing. The battery, uh, counter never goes down. It's awesome. So, uh, let me kind of zoom in and show you how to put all this together. And it's really, really simple. And, uh, then I'll come back and tell you, uh, what, what the components are again and where you can get them. Okay. Let's look at the, the components individually. This is the XT power. And again, this is the box that comes in this box. I've already opened it up. Uh, you get a ton of cool stuff with this. You get the power unit itself. You get a lot of adapters. You get the various cords. Uh, they want to give you all the tools you need to make this work, no matter what you're working on. Look at all those little adapters there. And then there are actually there's a cigarette lighter adapter, more adapters here. So uh, again, very impressed with the quality of this. It comes with like all of this cool stuff. And the way this is going to work is you're going to take this. This is again, the DC coupler. And you can see it's just a little plastic battery and it comes with, with this cord. Now this cord was the wrong size for what I needed. So I'm just going to take that off and set it aside. And luckily, as luck would have it, uh, this came with the correct adapter that I, I need. So all I have to do is take this cord, <laughs> this cord that came with the power unit, plug it into the DC adapter. Now this end is going to plug into the power source itself. And then this end is going to go into the camera. Now I'm shooting on my 70D. So I'm going to use my, my five. Um, basically all you do is open up the camera slot or the battery slot. And then you take this slot and it will slide right into the battery component. Now this is for the 70D, which is a different size than the T5. I'm just using this as a demo, but that's all you would do. You would open up the battery slot, you would slide it in. It has a special little door that allows the cord to come out. And that's all you have to do. Then when you turn your camera on, it is going to be drawing power from this puppy right here. Now what I do is I like having everything together. So I, I had this handy dandy little arm here and I've got my, my road mic here. And what I do is when I'm actually using this is I just Velcro this puppy to that. And then this is in the camera and it's all self-contained, just like the picture I sent. So uh, again, I can't show you the actual insertion of the battery here because it is a different size, but that's really all you do. You get the dummy battery, you get the power source, you've got it plugged together. This will go in the camera slot, in the battery slot of your camera, and they're all different, so make sure you get the right one. And then when you turn the camera on, it is going to pull 
power from this. And as you can see, uh, I still have about five hours left in this. Now, one thing to be aware of, this has 12 volt and nine volt settings. Uh, make sure you keep it on nine volt, 12 volt probably won't hurt your camera, but you never know if you're running, uh, running 12, it could overload the camera. So just keep that on nine. And that's it, folks. You just plug this into your camera battery, plug this in, and there is your power source. So again, uh, this was uh, this was about 95 bucks, 97 bucks. To order a battery was going to be 70 bucks. This is going to give me 10 hours of power. And uh, yeah, so I've, I've used it once and I'm extremely happy with it. And again, I've got it all rigged together and working like my Frankenstein uh, rig that you see in the camera or in the picture below. Okay, so again, what you're going to need is a, uh, a power source. And again, I use the XT Power Mobile Energy. I got this on Amazon. Uh, it was 59 bucks, super duper quality. You saw all the little attachments that came with it. Very impressed with the quality. Uh, then the dummy battery. This is the cheapy right here. This was, uh, well, I say it was cheaper. It was 38 bucks. But uh, when you look at the fact that a camera battery, a replacement battery for my camera is almost $70. And this entire setup here was 97 and it will give me uh, more power until the cows come home. I think that was a great investment. Very happy. And uh, you saw how I put it all together. If you got any questions, uh, just uh, drop them in the comments below. Happy to help you do this. Again, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this and so far so good. All right, that's it. It's Saturday. I'm going to go work at a dog adoption. I'll see you soon.